Motor Week is made possible by Rock Auto, Tire Rack, and Die Hard. Well, next up is an import mark that we can guarantee will never sell anything in the $5,000 class or even in the $20,000 class. They don't have to. After all, Jaguar has a lot of other distinctions. For instance, there are a lot of expensive imports around, and a lot of them are fast, and some of them are ridiculously luxurious, and they're all prime examples of conspicuous consumption. But there aren't too many around you'd call elegant. That's a quality that seems to have gotten lost among ground effect skirts, microchips, and 50 series tires, except for Jaguar. Of course, now, we wouldn't just test a car for the elegance factor. The XJS has gone through a few technical improvements of its own. So naturally, we just had to give it a try. It's been three years since our last visit with the sailplane Jaguar XJS HE. And to be honest, it hasn't changed much. The unforgettable XJS styling is untouched, still low and sleek, even if the quartet of round headlights is starting to look a bit dated. But even with two tons of heft and 16 feet in length, it still mimics its crouched namesake to perfection. There are new keys, simplified down to only two types, and inside a multifunction trip computer, now Derrick Air for high bracket cars. It provides most expected data, including the time of day, all of which it retains even when the engine is off. There's also a new 40 watt stereo from Alpine, and the dash is inlaid with walnut burl a change from last year's Elm. Oh, there are also new colors for 1986, including the return of British Racing Green. This $1,300 sunroof is also new. It's the XJS's only option. It gets installed at the U.S. port of entry. So why spend more time on the XJS? Because of what it's like to drive. It's like few other cars in the world. That's why. Mash the throttle, and as those 12 tiny cylinders start to pulsate, this big cat takes on the feeling of a time machine. Before you noticed, you're past the 60 mile per hour mark, and that only took 8.4 seconds. The quarter mile is but another breath away, 16.4 seconds, at a breath taking 95 miles per hour. Top speed, we ran out of room on our track, but Jaguar says it's on the far side of 140 dive into a turn, and despite its weight, the all-independent suspension digs in and holds on. The rather narrow 70 series tires claw around the bend much better than you'd expect. This is a nicely nimble machine. Corners are taken flat with extreme stability. Steering response is quick and nearly neutral. As long as you don't take its length and girth too much for granted, it's very forgiving, even in the most impromptu maneuvers. Compared to our 83 car, the response of the all-disc braking system is improved. Brakes don't feel touchy or overboosted anymore. Stops were dead straight with a very short average of 111 feet. The pedal was easy to modulate and there was only a hint of premature lockup at the right rear. The heart and soul of this S-Type Jaguar is its famous all-aluminum 5.3-liter V12 engine. With its fireball combustion chamber design, output is a robust 262 horsepower and 290 pound-feet of torque. It still does look complicated in there and could be expensive to repair, but all Jaguars are built much better than they were even just a few years ago. And there's a 36-month, 36,000-mile warranty to prove it. Even used Jaguars sold through dealers now can have a factory-backed warranty. On the inside, Jaguars still look and feel like no other car in the world. The Connolly leather and genuine wood veneer have an unmistakable aroma. Seats are comfortable with good support. They are low, so getting in or out means climbing. The telescoping steering wheel is essential for finding a proper driving position. The shifter to the GM-built three-speed auto still looks too dainty. A few S-types were imported with a manual a while back, but interest was low. Gauges are clear with vertical readouts for water, oil pressure, fuel, and battery status. And yes, the rear seat is still there and still mostly for appearance. But the trunk remains cavernous. But wait a minute, can it be there are no serious hitches in the Jaguar XJS HE? Well, we could mention price, $37,800, plus the sunroof if you want it. 
but compared to other high-class imports, that's not out of line anymore. And anybody who buys one could probably care less that the price includes a hefty gas guzzler tax, thanks to a 13-city, 17-highway mileage rate. We manage 16 on our loop, but who cares? Jaguar's future seems bright. An open-top XJS Cabriolet is now arriving, also V12 powered, while a new sedan and inline six-cylinder engine are waiting in the wings. So this could be one of only a few chances left to experience the V12 Jaguar XJS tradition in the same form it's been since it was introduced here in 1975. And we have to say that those times we've spent together have been just grand.